How can demons attach to our soul? First of all, our soul is really who we are, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions. That kind of comprises uh, the three parts of our soul. And so this is what happens. We get hurt and we get wounded when we're growing up. All of us do. Uh, oftentimes from our fathers, from our mothers, from neighbors, from relatives, all kinds of ways that the enemy comes in and tries to hurt and wound us. And so what will happen is you will have thoughts that will come into your mind that will later uh, cause you to doubt yourself, to have shame, to uh, even hear the voice of those who have hurt you in the past and remind you over and over again of what they said, like in the tone that they said it. You know, the National Science Foundation did a study in 2005 and found the average person could have 12,000 thoughts a day, of which 80% are negative, 95% the same thoughts that the day before. Well, a lot of those thoughts are demonic spirits and they sound like your own thoughts. You don't discern the difference because most people aren't taught this when they're growing up. But that's how demons will affect us largely is by getting a lot of thoughts from them into us, causing us to have fear, anxiety, depression, even suicidal thoughts, trying to get us to kill ourselves. And we, if we don't recognize that those thoughts are coming from demons, then we're going to be duped. And there's a lot of Christians that are duped. They don't understand that. And then there's the emotions part of a person. So if you're not healed of some wounds in your past, then oftentimes you will trigger on people. You will become a different person, an alternate personality, where you may get especially angry uh, or, or even violent over something that's really kind of minor. But to you, it's a big deal. And maybe it's jealousy. Maybe it's uh, you, you feel like you have to control and make another person do what you want. And really at the core, that's witchcraft. That's trying to force a person to do what you want and not what the Lord would want for you. And it's exhausting. A lot of people are tormented by these thoughts. So how do you get healed of uh, soul wounds? You basically ask the Lord to show you those who've hurt you from his perspective. You'll see that they were hurt and wounded, oftentimes by their dads, by their moms, by sexual violations that happened to them, exposure to pornography. And then you can choose to forgive them for causing you to feel, and you can name off all the emotions that you felt from them. I felt rejected, I felt controlled, I felt stupid, I felt put down, all these things. You give that to the Lord, and then you can command the demonic spirits that attach to your soul to go to the pit. And then you'll feel lighter, you'll feel better, you'll get healed. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, helping people around the world get healed of their wounds and delivered. It's available on Amazon and paperback, Kindle and Audible. And I also do personal sessions with people every week from around the world. If you're interested in that, go out to our website, restoredtofreedom.com. Click on contact me, fill out the form, and then my assistant Tina will give you a call. All right. Thanks. Bye.